got in here another pretty neat silver bars. Don't just stack it, build it, but these ones are miniature. As you can see, it was came from Upmax. Boom. Half an ounce, one fourth of an ounce, one eighth of an ounce, and one fourth of an ounce. The accessory set quantity 40 fine silver building blocks. Total silver content is 12 toy ounces. So it looks like you have 12 of this, 8 of this, 8 of this, and I guess 12 of that. So all of them 39 silver blocks. And I already can see, as you can see, this one are very cute and a small. And this one side here a little bit longer. Wow, that's like a little waffle, uh, tiny little pieces. Yeah, that's so unique. That's so cool. So let's try to play with them. So as you can see, you could really build little tiny wall over here. Check this out. And I kind of like the squares because if you just want to uh, finish the wall, you can just continue like that. That's kind of cool. Then go this way. And it goes inside so well. And they have the little things over here, you see it? So this is a little set for just different pieces. And then you have a little bigger pieces. So some of them very, very skinny like pancake and some of them are really big. So check this out. And again, you wanna build some kind of little house out of silver. So instead of just stacking it, a bunch of silver bars, you can actually uh, build it, not just stack it. Uh, plugs in are really good, as you can see. But look at that, so many little pieces. I kind of like the bigger ones a little bit better. You can imagine it's a lot easier to hold it. Even these ones are a lot easier to hold uh, than this little pancakes over here. But yeah, that's cool, you see it? Two, and they perfectly fit. So it's kind of nice because these ones are small, not just 12 pieces, you have a lot of small pieces. You have 40 pieces. So it's a little bit cheaper than just get a one ounce, so you only get for 12 ounces 12 pieces. This way, uh, because you have functional, you can build a lot more with the same amount of ounces. So that's kind of cool. Look at that little build. Not a stock, it's a build now because it sits in there pretty good. Of course, not super good, could have done it a little bit better. So yeah, and then you can just put it back away. Obviously, you don't want to scratch it up and mess it up because the better uh, quality it stays in, the better a sale value it will be. I know guys, but I love silver like that. It is a lot of fun. I love that people produce unique stuff like that. And on each bar, it actually says how many ounces of silver there is. So you could sell them uh, individually as well. And just fill up the rest of them with the layers. Look at that. Perfect fit. They got 12 ounces uh, silver bars that instead of just stacking it, you build it. So I have a th third one, I showed you the 12 ounces, then I showed you the half ounces, and I have these functional ones. Super cool, love this set. Next I have pretty unique lighter over here, also electric lighter, comes with the wire and instructions. So what's so special about it? I showed you lots of beam lighters, this one is not. This one has a heating element like I never seen before. As you can see, it have like a fingerprint, and I guess the bars on top letting you know how much power have left. Uh, the charger down here, so not waterproof. So all you have to do is just press it on, and it slides up hot, as you can see. So like a heating coil, obviously it'll be really, really hot. And did I press it by mistake? Nope, after a while it will shut off. Then you gotta close it, open it again, and use it again. If you wanna turn it off, just Press it again. I really like the high quality clicker over here. You hear it? It just solid. Press it and then it will shut off by itself. This is actually pretty nice and hot. And it has like a heating coil over the glass. So unique. Look at that. 
love whenever they invent something new, especially unique lighters like that. Open it, see it? Almost like uh, this heating element is uh, replaceable. And if you turn it off yourself, it will actually light up on command. You don't have to shut it off. But if you hold it uh, and it's kind of like burns for too long, it will automatically shut off. Now you have to close it and open it for it to turn on again. Pretty awesome. That's a very, very unique light. I really like that one a lot. Also, I should mention there's lots of heating element lighters, but not this kind. I never seen a heating element lighter like that. Got it here, pretty unique pocket knife. So the way to unlock it, I guess you grab it like that and you just press it and slide it forward. Boom. How cool is that? So a little like box cutter knife, nothing much you're gonna be doing with that. So to uh, lock it back up, you just press this side here. You see that back lock? And then this will go backwards like that. Let's look at this close up again. All we have to do is press it like that, lift it up. I cannot do it fast just yet, but there you go, it locks in. Should you close up the logo right here? These things are pretty collectible because once they make them, usually they would make them very, very cheaply. Usually, some kind of company that is like using cheap materials they make them, but the originals are always more expensive. So then you press it right here and just lift it back up. So, this is some kind of spring or something. Uh, again, let's try to do it faster. Yeah, it takes a little bit of practice to do it faster. And to lock it, I would do it with two hands. So just hold it like that. There you go. I'm getting better. I think I had a couple of uh, Gerber or something like that knives, but they were way cheaper built than these ones. And the locking mechanism was a little bit different. This one, look at that. Boom slides out. Look at that. I got really good at it already. If you don't push it all the way, it's kind of gets loose. So that's what they keep the knife kind of going in there. And then same way, it's kind of loose till you lock it in. Loose and then it locks in here. Such a unique mechanism. So yeah, another very unique mechanism knife going into my collection. Original one out here. Got another folding fire pit. Let's see what this thing is all about. So there is instructions. Very simple and advertisement for other ones. Whoa, that's heavy. So first impressions, what we got here? A really, really heavy fire pit. Would I be bringing this camping? Maybe with the RV or a truck where I don't have to hike very long. But this thing is incredibly heavy. But again, it's gonna last forever. I have bought those cheap fire pits from Lowe's. There's like $50. One time I didn't even use it. I just have it outside and it just rusted too. So they only last the season. With this kind of fire pits, I'll tell you what, because it's such a, a heavy steel plate. All you have to do maybe uh, spray paint it once in a while or paint it. Um, it's going to last you a lot longer. So it goes like that. It slides it in. Then we need this piece and slide this in. Heavy duty pieces for sure. Look at that. And then I can even flip it around to show it to you and slide this in. I guess I could bring this fire pit, again, if it's not a lot of hiking, I've seen some beaches required for you to have a fire pits, and that way you can burn on a beach by the sand, by the water, as long as you have fire pits. So that's kind of a nice option. Okay, and how does the middle go? I guess there's a hole for the finger. It falls too all the way, now I'm confused. Aha, uh -huh. see my simple mistake? I put it in the wrong spot. This is supposed to be on the inside. But luckily it's pretty easy to take it apart and put it together. So just take one piece out. 
out at the time and look again made a mistake not a big deal flip it over put it inside here it just looks a lot better on the other side that's why i thought it's this way and then slide this one in again this is kind of nice that i messed it up so that's why you guys see, see how easy it is to put it together now this one gonna go slide in over the top and boom you have a really nice fire pit that is really heavy duty and not too big by the way you can actually buy bigger ones that's the smallest one they make so maybe i'll show you guys the bigger one they highly highly like adjustable and stuff so let's say we're done how do we take it apart obviously take the middle once it cools off again super easy to take it apart and put it together slide these pieces out. also i like it there is black because usually those shiny fire pits uh discolor it anyways and they're not so shiny this one is already black so take it all apart very very heavy so get some kind of like a special holder for yourself and it is definitely not hiking for a long time love that but i probably will set it up around the house it will last forever and if i have to move it i can do it very easily by taking it apart and if i'm not using it i can save it for later somewhere store it in a garage without taking up a lot of space so it's also very nice got it here foldable spear fishing kit from amazon let's see what this thing is all about Pretty much got it, whatever they suggested to me. Looks like there's a rubber tube. Yeah, spins out pretty good. Looks like two lightweight rods. And they just go on. Oh wow, check this out. I didn't even realize when I was buying it. They give us actually multiple, ow. Oh, this spear fishing has this like a uh, hook-like uh, items over here. Ouch, so be careful opening that. So the reason why there's a uh, sharp ends inside of it So whenever you get the fish it cannot like come off easily. That's pretty awesome Actually, I just wish there was some kind of warning to it or something. Oh wow check this one out That one is uh, quite unique too Okay, this one is just a single spike over there and whenever it's penetrated to the hopefully fish goes all the way in and here and then it opens it up so it doesn't slide away whenever you retrieve your uh, fishing spear that's pretty cool i didn't even know this kind of stuff existed and the last one right here i do like the covers definitely don't want to lose them i would hold it and open them like that you want to squish them together so that way you don't cut yourself so that's pretty awesome and this one is like a tie, as you can see. Inside there's little hooks, so that way whenever you penetrate to the fish, it does not fall off and swim away and you just waste the fish. So that's pretty nice. Again, close it, put the safety back on. Same thing here, you wanna kinda close it and put safety on. It's gonna spin up at the end over here. And I would assume you just have to put it to the loop right here. I guess the rope is gonna go to here and then we're just gonna put this thing to and make a loop. I don't think I have any instructions but I guess that's how I'm gonna do it. So and I guess you just grab it like that and just release it and it's gonna fly. You can I guess either go this way or this way, depends. What you're trying to do but yeah that's unique pretty cool survival fishing spear over here yeah that's that's nice and it's also really easy to take apart just spin that and then spin that and then we're gonna put in the holder let's see how well it sits in there i guess all the blades is gonna drop in here as well and maybe a rubber too. So there you go, take apart fishing spear. Probably would take it into Florida or somewhere that you can fish fish 
where you actually can see it in a brackish water that you cannot see far away from you probably will be a lot harder to fish like that but in florida i've seen people would just fish with a spear off the ground not only in the water that's pretty cool